Hello everyone, this is the Agent Toad reporting in from somewhere else planet, bringing you today Pokemon Crafty Battles Episode 3. After three months, we are finally back, and today we'll be, we will be facing Pokemon Master and training Twilight Gab. This battle is actually going to be pretty hard for me since I'm pretty sure Gab is an actual uh, VGC player, and I don't know much about uh, competitive Pokemon, since usually when I, you know, battle, I like to use Pokemon I like, so... My teams really aren't competitively viable, and this is PCB we're talking about, so yeah. It's like, I could have some good mods, or you know, I could just have a Goldeen. Which, well, is good. So anyway, ignoring my own team, let's get into our Pokemon for today. We have a Phalanx, an Alakazam, a Slowbro, a Squilbet, a Hatterene, and a Dracloak. If you happen to read any of those, you probably have an idea of some of my strategies, and yeah, uh, right. Yeah. It's gonna be fun, but then again, it, this could easily fail. It's like half of my mods are set up. But anyway, forgetting that, without further ado, let's get into the match against the Pokemon Master in Training, Twilight Gap 2010. Let's do this. Hopefully this goes well, since I'm not that well versed in VGC, and basically what I did with my sets is I came up with new things for these Pokemon, and some of them honestly aren't that good, but I hope I can make something work with them. I gotta figure out my song. Uh... Uh, ah, fuck it, we'll just go with the classic gym leader theme for now. <laughs> Wait, gym leader theme is pretty good. I I prefer the champion theme when I, when I play since, well, not champion, but the tournament theme, since it's like the gym leader theme, but it's a bit more hype. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, my team should be fine, hopefully. If the only thing I have to worry about is a big scary tiger. I think I might know who I need to lead with here. Eh, yeah, maybe not as much. No, we we'll tried. Oh wait, are we using all six or only four? Oh, all six. Oh yeah, right, I forgot to tell you that we're using all six since it, in VGC, um, you only use four Pokemon, right? Yeah, VGC you only use four. Yeah, so sorry, I'm really not used to VGC, sorry about that. Good thing I asked ahead of time. <laughs> yep. Anyway, let's do this. So I can use game one to unrest. <laughs> yeah. It's like, depending on how long we take, we could do either one game or two games. Okay. Is this? Yeah, I can handle this. Oh yeah, neutralizing that. Let's see. Oh yeah, but you don't have love cake. Okay, so yeah, I can work with this. Hmm. We should be fine here. Let's do that. And perfect! No. We need that one. Alright. Oh, that's going to in the long run. Oh. However, at least my strategy now gets fun to play. Oh, yeah, that I see. So let's see, this turn in. Yeah, this should be fine. Okay, insane. Is that you know? Yep! Good thing I didn't go for the move I was hoping to go for. 
Oh yeah, I have that. Okay. Yeah, and that one should have speed, so yeah, I should be perfectly fine here. Are you sure about that? I'm not perfectly fine at all. <laughs> okay. Drink so. up my sleeve. Okay, so hopefully if Alex Sam doesn't get one shot, this should work out. See where this should, since knowing my luck, things usually don't work out. And now I'll do this. Right. No flinching. Flinching? Oh. Oh no. Flinching. Flinch. Wait. Oh yeah, right. And Zinor gets fake out. Well, I can do this. Now then, let's. The minus one thing. Hmm. I'm okay with that. Okay, Found is dead, but that is fine. Since I can now bring out my next one. Oh. Ah, oh, well, that's a problem. Never mind. Never mind, this oh, should still work out. I slightly messed up. Who? Oh. I know what I need to do there. Actually, yeah, if you... Actually, yeah, if you Dark Slayer, I think that will have taken me out. Since Dark Slayer, um, ignores, uh, stats, right? Yeah, it ignores, uh, stat changes. Oh, yeah. So Alakazam would have been dead. However... However, now I can actually really put the strategy into mo motion. You have a bruh. Slow bruh. Yep, and now I can start doing this. And hopefully, and hopefully Alex Sam doesn't die this turn. However, that Tailwind's gonna be annoying since... Since, yeah, if Tailwind's up, everything gets outsped. Yep, tail, tailwind up, and now it's... Actually, now that I'm thinking, I probably should have kept Rotom alive. Oh, well. Ah, this ain't good. So, right, uh, basically, this set is... Oh. Basically, my plan was... Based I need to stop saying basically. So anyway, my plan was to have a, a Calm Mind a coaching Omni Boost, then go for Stored Power, and if Balance were to die, bring in Slowbro to get the stat changes. Anyway, yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, Alakazam is going to die next turn. Either Alakazam or Balance. Not Balance, but Slowbro. Very bad remembering names. Oh. Well, this isn't good. Actually, I should have a way to counter this. Keyword being should, since, you know, when they say should, things never go good. Okay, who's going to die? Okay, this isn't good. However, if something were to activate, I could, I could get back in this. Just, I don't know. And Scott should be, oh yeah, right, focus that should exist. Okay, I'm good. Okay, right. And there's literally only one reason why I had the max early, otherwise I would not have maxed. <laughs> Just to let you know. Dracula. Anyway, uh, uh, are you Evelite? Oh. Are you Evelite? That's actually a good question. Uh, Evelite? 
Uh, I do have an Evolite Pokemon on this team. Is it this? Is it the Draplo? Or is it Squobat? We'll just have to find out. Anyway. Okay, right. RNG, please be in my favor. I beg, please be in my favor. Because if RNG isn't, uh, yeah, I think I lose. I don't uh, trust you. Max Lightning. Oh! Well, bro's bulky, right? Okie dokie! Uh, I didn't expect to live, but okay. Oh, yeah, right, I do have those plus two, so shell side are. Ah. When your Alakazam attacked me, I was literally just out of range for the berry to activate. Oh, uh, I had the max for the berry to activate. So. Okay. Here's the plan if RNG is in, in my favor, I should be good. However, if it is not, yeah, I basically lose right. Thank you! Okay, here we go. Sword power should take this. Alright. Let's go. So, my bucket. Yeah, so this Alakazam is actually a. Uh, it's actually regenerator plus quick swap. I want to just, you know, go full in with the quick drop. Quick swap, however, I thought. Nah, since I already did that. And now Tailwind is down. Okay, so yeah, this is good. Actually, you're probably gonna be able to just set it back up since. Does Prankster, like. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Prankster could uh, go for Quick Claw. Or. Is it that Prankster? Um. If. Moves of the same priority are going up at the same time, whoever's naturally faster goes first. Oh. Yeah, so, so if your Quick Claw activated, then my Prankster kicked in. Prankster would go first, and then your Quick Claw. Yeah. Anyway. Good. Okay, we'll... Okay, this... This actually puts a wrench in my plans. Yeah, I figured that'd be the way to go. Okay, so... Okay, so I think I'm gonna... I should be... Yeah, I should be able to take one of these, and... Okay, what's... Uh, I know what I need to do. Yeah, no. The, the Incineroar is the biggest no. problem for me here since, well, since, well, it takes out, like, yeah, it deals with, uh, Hattery, Hattery's Slowbro and, uh, oh yeah, I had an Al Alkazam. So yeah, that's why it's such a big problem since it's, well, it's fast and well, it's not exactly fast, but it goes before Harry and Slowbro, and yeah, they both die. Wait. Interesting tech. Wait, how that? Oh yeah, right. Uh, so uh, this Harry is actually max speed, since I did, don't intend to run it in Trick Room. Anyway, let me. See. I'm going to do Okay. Yeah, I'm, going, I'm going to do this. Hopefully hopefully this brings me back into battle. Okay, Hatterene can Why do we keep thinking Hatterene is a bulky Pokemon for some reason? It's like every time I see it, it's like, yeah, Hatterene, it can taste it, and it always dies in one hit for some reason. It's bulky, uh, more special than physical. I'm actually surprised that one shot, to be honest. Yeah. It's like, uh, was this Hatterene? Yeah, I think I invested in bulk. Yeah, I All right. think so. Alright. Which Pokemon is it? Oh, that is a Bansom. It's... 
Yeah, I think, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure I lost this one. Since it's like the only way I can see myself winning is say, uh, yeah, it's like say I just you know quick draw ev everything, uh, and yeah. I know what I need to click here, but I don't want to click it, so I'll do this instead. Hmm. Icicle crit. Okay, who are you going? All according okay. to plan. Let's go. Yep, and that's a slow bro that... Okay, please... In... E. Wait. <laughs> like I said... Things do usually usually do not go in my favor. Ever. It's, it's like I need to not be flinched since Yeah, if I didn't flinch, I could have definitely taken the mammal swine out and This shouldn't kill me. Never mind. It's a crit. <laughs> my luck is not the best. At all. Well it's flinch cause that's thirty percent. But Ice Cold Crash is only 10% chance to flinch. Oh, yeah. I get really unlucky. Anyway, on the match too. If it makes you feel any better, I get very unlucky with sleep. A sl sleep is just a, a sleep. Why did Game Freak put sleep in the game and make it so overpowered? It's like you. It's like, uh, I'm pretty sure. It's, you can't, uh, add a sleep clause in this game, can you? Uh... Did you see rules? No. Smogon rules does have a sleep clause in singles, specifically. In singles, only one of your opponent's Pokémon can be put to sleep at a time. See... Yeah, because it's like, the thing about... The thing about sleep is... It's like, when I play online, I run into Venusaurs that, uh, do sleep, and it's like, okay. So... I have no grass types, so what I'm gonna have to do is gamble that the Savinosaur misses, but if it does miss, it's going to outspeed me on the next turn, and if it doesn't miss, I have to play the sleep game. So really, I never win. Check, we're still picking six, right? Uh, yeah, still six. Oh, okay. Okay. Hopefully I can, I can showcase these Pokemon this time. Okay, this works. This works perfectly. I should be able to take care of these. Actually, wait a minute. Oh. Oh yeah, Tailwind. Bane of my existence. How if I do? Okay, so instead of doing that, I sh I really have nothing for this thing that's up. Okay. So. Okay. Let's hope I made the right decision and things do not die. Okay, this works. Okie dokie, this works pretty well. So now you have a chance of not getting Tailwind up, and I can now deal with Man Mamoswine effectively. Okay, and let's go for this. Okay, I just realized, because I should have asked earlier, you didn't Dynamax last this game, are you not allowing Dynamax? Oh, no, no, I am. It's, it's just, a, like, I didn't see a good opportunity to use it, and, yeah, it's like, I didn't really see a good opportunity, so, yeah. Actually, if I Dynamax back there with the, uh, yeah, with the Drowdon, I could have at least taken it out before I lost. What am I doing instead?
Okay. So Let's save you for that... later. Okay, so that's got it. Oh. Oh, this is a problem. Well, then. Okay, I know what I need to do. The problem with Manus, Manus Prime being there is I can't paralyze it. And, well, it's not exactly fast. However, it's like, with the things I have to outspeed it. Yeah. And Hatterene is dying once again. Hattery. We don't make the mama angry. Yep. Okay, so uh, now I know exactly what I you're don't doing. remember. I do not remember what your base speed is off the top of my head. Oh, okay. There's that much? Uh, and you are. I don't think I'm going to. It's like with Spam Slime, I don't think I'm going to outspeed it. However, with Phalanx. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I outspeed with Phalanx. However, I. Actually, do I outspeed Real Top Wash? I don't think I do. Uh, well, this one is bulky, so you actually will outspeed it. Oh. Yeah, oh. this is actually bulky Rotom, it's not my... Well, both my Rotoms, I have two separate ones. This one has a lot more defensive bulk, but my other one is just max HP, max special attack. Oh, nice. Okay, hopefully I made the right play. Okay, so Actually, wait, do we have any Oh, wait. I think I may have been wrong for this year. Mm, boys. Oh, yeah, I. I made the wrong choice. Wait, how can I have spent. What did I do for this? Oh. Oh, this is a problem, and I still made the wrong choice since I decided to. Yeah, I decided to double into Rotom, okay. thinking you were gonna go for Max Guard. And... Okay, so, hopefully, well then, I know you're a first stage mod, but please, do something! How much damage? That's pretty decent for a slow bit. Oh, Isn't that dead. hydro pump was bad? Miss that hydro pump was bad. Hmm, so now I. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do this. Hmm. Oh, I'm. I died this turn. Actually, yeah, now that it's back to base, however, rollout's powered up. How much damage? Yep, balance is dead. Yeah, I, I was debating whether I should max knuckle or, ma or max guard. It's like, it's like max knuckle, I could boost down attack some more, but max guard is just. Yeah, sure, why don't I max guard it? Yeah! That <laughs> Okay, roll out. How much damage is it? It's pretty decent for a squirrel bit. Now, how am I going to deal with this? Uh, oh, wait, Tailwind's still there. Oh. Well, this is just perfect. Okie dokie. We please do something with the set. Actually, wait, how much power do I have? Oh, but it's gonna be weaker since my physical attack is Okay. But, I do have this. Okay. 
So, please do ants. Yeah, this is why I sent out Dracloak first, since uh, beat up's based on the base attack of your party and your. And Dracloak is dead. So, this was actually a bench up fleeting. a beat up flinching set. So, I had, mm. uh. Uh, what's it called again? Thunderwave on this. So, I, my plan was to go for Thunderwave on my opponent and just beat up Flint some. I used to do with my Gyarados back in like Gen 6. Because, funny thing, Gyarados gets Thunderwave for some strange reason. Oh yeah, it also gets Thunderbolt and Thunder. Gyar Gyarados. Why does Gyarados get these moves? that make it so good. I still don't know. Okay, that works for me. Hit Protect does not protect the intim Intimidate, right? Hopefully I'm right about something for once. Well, this is just great! And I got to Oblivious this gen, fun fact. Okay, an alloc- Alright! This... Actually Sweet. works. Oh, and you have that? Yeah, because what Oblivious does, normally, before Gen 8, it only just prevents, uh... Attract and... something else. Hmm. Uh, it makes you immune to Attract and Taunt, but they added it in this Gen, where now you're immune to Intimidate with it. Oh yeah, I think they also add that to inner focus this gen as well. You, I think. Hmm. Yeah. I think that was this gen. It's like they add a bunch of things this gen for abilities. It's like uh, prankster Pokemon, something about them not being able to get poisoned by under some condition. It's it's like I do not remember the condition. However, it's like. Pranks the Pokemon can not get poisoned if if this occurs. Since I know when I played random battles on Shutdown one time, I countered anyway. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this takes me out. Yeah, I'm, yeah, and I lose pretty much. Yeah, it's like the main thing with this team is it could be good. However, if I can't get momentum, it just uh, falls flat. Hmm. Yeah, because it's it's like when I was testing it in the battle tower, it's like some well the NPCs aren't the best. However, if I can get about like say uh, two bulk ups up, yeah, well two coaching and two combines, then my very activates I can just uh, wreck house. Anyway, that is the match. Thank you for participating uh, in Pokemon Crafty Battles. Is there with is there anything you would like to say uh, before we end the episode? Uh, hopefully, I start streaming more soon. Because <laughs> I do stream. I do have a Twitch. I'm just I've have family emergency stuff pretty much going on in the background, so I haven't been able to stream as much as I want to. But hopefully, next month I should be streaming again. Usually, I stream Monday through Friday. I guess I could send you a link to my Twitch, because if you're uploading this to YouTube, they could just go into the description and check out, yep. I guess. Link is in the description, and I should be able to put it on screen. However, it doesn't really help much, since most people wouldn't just copy the link on screen and into the search bar, and yeah. Anyway, thank you for uh, participating today, Gab, and I will see mm -hmm. you off. Uh, bye, everybody! Bye! Thank you so much for, partic for participating. I thought the battle would go differently and, well, it would actually last longer, but yeah, I'm not the best at Pokemon battles. Ah, oh, you're fine. Yeah. Anyway, thank Maybe you. We all gotta start somewhere. Yep. Hopefully I get better. And that is the end of the video. I would have something to say here, however, I can't think of anything at the moment. So yeah, uh, there are no channel announcements except 20 subs, however by the time this video is up, 
I should have decided what I'm doing for it. Anyway, make sure to go check out Gav's Twitch in the link in the description, and yeah, that's all for me for today. But of course I forgot something. Uh, I'm sorry if there's an echo on this part, I don't know how to prevent it. So yeah, sorry about that. But anyway, yeah, uh, things I forgot to mention. Number, yeah, number one. I'm linking her Twitter in the description and her Twitch channel, so get, go check her out. And number two, oh yeah, right, what's on screen right now? The team code. As is tradition at the end of at all of these, I will put the team code at the end, and it's in the description. However, if you don't want to go to the description and you can't see the screen right now, I'm going to actually read it out. It's, uh, 000, zero, zero wait, zero, zero. Okay, four zero 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 three zero K K seven G G G D. So so yeah, if you didn't get from that, you can go look in the description. But anyway, yeah, that's the end of the video for today. We won't be doing this again for a while since well, it takes a while to make these teams and it takes takes a while to find someone to battle. So yeah. Anyway, without further ado. Let me finally end up off this episode. Agent Toad, signing out!